Last Kids on Earth Apocalyptic Survival Guide. Zombies! Hey guys, Jack here to tell you all about zombies. That's Dirk. Say hi, Dirk. No. Now that we're in the apocalypse, these tips could save your life. Here we see the undead in their native habitat. A hot dog shop. Zombies aren't fast, so if you move quickly, you should be good. It's also good to have friends nearby. Be aware of your surroundings. Know the area. No! That's my best friend Quint, a brilliant inventor, but a painfully bad actor. No! No! A dead end! The zombie's favorite hunting ground! Hurry, Don. And that's June, an amazingly awesome person who also kicks serious monster butt. Uh, Jack? Gotta go! And if you can't avoid contact with the undead, cover every inch of exposed flesh. Look out! Zombie! <laughs> and that's all you need to know about zombies. Ha! <laughs> made you fall. Seriously, hurry, Don. Little help! Pass. The Last Kids on Earth Apocalyptic Survival Guide. Monsters! Welcome to Wakefield's original one and only Monster Tour! This is not a tour, Jack. It is a zoological study of the strange creatures now inhabiting our world. And on with the tour! The mystifying plant monsters, known as vine thingies. It glows like a poison ivy nightlight. They're alive. Like, alive alive. As a post-apocalyptic action hero and unlicensed tour guide, I never let my guard down or... Maybe do the rest of your little show from inside the truck. Octo Groot! Dozer! Ah, and the winged wretch! Neck swivels like a snake on Sunday. Wings whipping wickedly every which way. Mouth major maw for munching miners. So don't pick a fight with one. Huh? One time! It happened one time! <laughs> <laughs> and zombies that have taken over the world. This coat rack is made of authentic dozer spine. Kinda neat. This chair belonged to our school principal, but, uh, well, now he's a zombie, so. Uh. And the hangout room for... Dance party! <laughs> I told you the music was too loud. This treehouse used to be normal, but we made some... Uh, <laughs> modifications. Bottle rocket launchers! Zip line! Power generator! Crossbow! Even bigger crossbow! Our lucky crossbow. Outer defense is breached! <laughs> and when, on occasion, bad guys do get close, life basically becomes one big tower defense game! <laughs> What's this one do again? No! The goose farm grenade big boom bonanza blaster! Don't! Ugh, tree fortress of not so awesomeness. The last kids on earth, apocalyptic survival guide. Gadgets! In a monster zombie apocalypse, some of these amazing gadgets oh, could save your life like the bottle rocket launcher. Simply pick your favorite color, point, and fire! <laughs> or, uh, this one works every time. A boomerang that goes boom! Oh, come on! Well, uh, when in doubt, our 
our best seller, the smoke flash capsule, never fails. <laughs> this stinks. I swear, they usually work. Great, now Big Mama's rolling monster radar is messing up too. Afraid uh, not, buddy. We're being surrounded. Let's do this. Bud. Thank you for visiting Quint's post-apocalyptic home shopping survival guide. Uh, see, they work. Yeah! The last kids on Earth apocalyptic survival guide. How to care for your monster pet? A pet like Rover. <laughs> I know that doesn't sound like apocalyptic survival advice but Rover can be really helpful. Ah! Having a monster pet around can be the difference between life and afterlife. Whoa, tail tornado! Tail-nado. Feeding a monster pet is fairly simple. Rover will eat anything. Just don't get too close. Ah! ah, kidding. Cleaning your apocalyptic buddy is essential to keep him healthy. Size is no problem. Just let him loose. It's getting him to stop is the problem. Oh, the only real drawback is clean up. Yeah. No, 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 no. Thanks for watching. Rover thanks you for watching. Jude and Quint too. Dirk would thank you, but you know he's Dirk. Okay, bye.